Griffey, do you want an orange or a peach? Um, orange. Okay. <laughs> Griffey, can you get your shoes on, please? Shoes, please. We gotta go. Pepper. Pepper pig. <laughs> when I grew up, it was purely like, you go race, you go ride, and the rest, you go and have fun, hang out with your friends. So I never really was taught to do any chores. You gotta go get your helmet. Daddy will take your bike, okay? Ken and I met in 2014. He was a client of the agency that I worked for. My boss kind of set us up, broke HR rules with that one. Married in 2018, had Griffey in 2020. Rafe just came in 2023. Yep, you can bring the train. Oh, are you bringing two? You know, I walk by a pile of uh, clothes that need to be washed and it bugs me, but I'm not picking it up, you know what I mean? So I'm 100% certain that I am a full-time job and probably the third child, but I own it too. No, he doesn't want to go in the mud. No. Oh. We got some raw liver, we got bone marrow, some mango, uh, some raw honey. Um, I got some maple syrup, grass-fed yogurt, bison, heart, liver, and uh, yeah, regular ground beef in this patty. I would say I'm definitely in the later stages of my career. I think in the past few years, we have pushed the age limit a little bit further and further, right? But at the same time, I feel like I've kind of gotten second wind. Most days I cook almost three times a day because I do my breakfast, I come back and I make some lunch and I make dinner as well. Maybe I'm sure you would love some liver. It's kind of funny because, you know, in the mid 20s when you're kind of supposed to be at your peak, I just, I wasn't. After my injury in 2017 and 18, I just struggled a lot with Epstein-Barr. With that comes a lot of depression for me. Bone marrow, not that bad. Liver, disgusting. But whatever it takes. You know, I was ready to go for it and wanting to put in the work and uh, my body wasn't really cooperating. I have tried as good as I possibly can to manage it. Um, that's something that kind of always stays with you. But I've kind of enjoyed this whole uh, racing side of things a lot more in the past year or two because I've just kind of taught myself and learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. He's really great at compartmentalizing everything. Like, the racing doesn't really interfere with his way of being a dad. There you go. Keep going, feet up, more gas. Keep going. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Hey, now finish the whoops, and then go fast and hit the entire berm. That's the opposite of fast. Keep your feet up. You know, he knows when I'm like, hey, I need just some quiet alone time. And, you know, the kids are outside all the time with him and Rafe's in his stroller. So I think we both know when we need to meet each other's needs. Like people always ask me, is he going to race? Is he going to race? And my mind is not one bit there. Like I'm still in the middle of my career. And for me, of course, it's fun when we're on the track and he shows interest. But I also like the water. So I was hoping both of them were going to surf. <laughs> I don't really know. It's not like I'm like, oh, I want him to ride. I want him to ride really bad. But it's a pretty proud uh, moment that he shows interest in it. This place is going absolutely nuts. Welcome back, Ken Roxon. The crowd are still roaring for Kickstart Kenny. Look at all those competitors. Look how happy they are for him. I have to give it up to all my guys in the corner. Like, they have worked their asses off, and uh, so have I and it shows that it pays off, you know? I don't have that carefree kind of mindset anymore, right? You know, I think about things before I jump it five times instead of just going for it. Could also be because I cannot really afford any more damage to my hands and wrists. But I guess with that just came a little bit of patience. Yeah, they don't come as often as they used to, so you really hold on to like how precious each win is. He's nodding his head already saying, yeah, this feels good. Kickstart Kenny wins! He's done it again! We've put in some long hours of trying to figure out the bike. Uh, we had a lot of people that doubted that we were going to be able to do it. And so every time I step onto that top step, it seems like every win just gets better for me, feeling-wise. He can ride it to the gate or to the garage with you. Let him follow you and I'll, uh, I'll catch up. I think he's his best ever. You have to be completely in it. And I think he's finally reached that point where he's not battling so many things where he can actually go and just enjoy himself. What? Was that so cool? Mike Sailor over the 94 of Ken Roxanne. Roxanne.
it up the inside. Barca around the outside. This is what he does best, Ricky. You let this guy up front, he might be night night time. Come on, man, watch it. We haven't really talked about him much about being a champ. Oh no! Well, what happened there? I tell you what happened. He has put too much trust in the dirt. Great recovery by him. Do you see how Kenny was just kind of like floating his front end through that rhythm section like it was sand rollers? Inside, 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 inside. Oh. Send it into the whoops. Chase Sexton, wheel to wheel now for the lead. Woo! He fell down in this spot on the first lap, came all the way back, and wins the heat. <laughs> that was close race. Jeez. Look at all the mud. It's funny. I feel like in the last year, year and a half, it's probably the strongest I've been in a long time. Good job, Daddy. It's so awesome to see his eyes sparkle, and I cherish those moments. And it's an amazing time. I'm just content and satisfied with how everything is.